Hi there, and welcome to this week's Wednesday video. This is just a little snippet for me to touch base with you every week and um, share with you something that gets you thinking, gets you motivated for the finish the week strong. Today, I want to talk to you about a weekly report card. And, you know, as entrepreneurs, which is what we are, and business owners, nobody's standing over us to say, hey, did you do your homework? Hey, did you, did you make those calls? Or, you know, are you, do you have that business plan? Are you enacting it? Are you taking action every day? Are you taking great care of your clients, etc.? So it's really up to us. It's up to you. So I wanted to share with you what my recommendation is for your weekly report card. So the most important thing you can do in your business is connect. They used to call it prospecting. They used to call it lead gen, right? I like to call it making cash. Did you know your quickest path to cash is a conversation? Write that down. My quickest path to cash is a conversation. Because when was the last time you got a client without a conversation? Never. Therefore, the quickest path to cash is a conversation. So in your weekly report card, you would say, um, you would decide ahead of time, of course, how many conversations you will have, commit to having on a weekly basis. So is it uh, five conversations a day? Is it 50 conversations a day? I'd venture to say it's somewhere in the middle. My recommendation would be 10 to 20 conversations a day. And let me, let me kind of clarify what a conversation is. A conversation could be an email. It could be a text. It could be a Facebook message. It could be a video text. Hey, how you doing? It could be an email. Did I say email? It could be that you invite them to see you on Zoom if you're still locked down, you know, in your state. Or it could be, hey, let's have coffee. It's been a while. I'm sorry that it's taken me a year and a half, you know, that I haven't talked to you. Re-engage, ladies. Don't be afraid. But you know what? The number of connections that you are committed to so on Friday afternoon, you won't be finished until you do it. What's that number for you on your report card? And then secondarily is after that conversation, you want to confirm an appointment, right? So the conversation is focused on them. How are they doing? What's going on in their lives? How you can help them? And then you're inviting them to a follow-up appointment which could be um, sharing with them the value of their home and, and what are their plans, how long do they plan to stay in their home, and you know, do, would they like you to keep in touch with them every six months or a year telling them what their house is worth. Starting more of a, more of a down, um, down and dirty conversation, meaning digging deeper. So my recommendation is that you commit to having at least three to five face-to-face -face conversations, appointments, I should say, appointments. They don't have to be any longer than 15, 20 minutes. It can be Zoom, it can be face-to-face. -face. So your two metrics that are the most important metrics, because ladies, we're in business to make money and have an impact, are we not? So it's how many conversations am I going to have? Sending notes, um, emails, um, like I said, going live in Facebook and then following up with that. How many, how many connect, connections? How many, how many, you know, how many conversations? And then how many appointments? I'm sorry, how many connections, not conversations? How many connections? You're going to reach out and you're going to friend new people every week in your local area. And then when they accept your friendship, you're going to start a dialogue. Or maybe you want to start a dialogue first and then if it works out well, um, friend them. It's the connections. How many connections? I'd say, you know, like I said, um, at least 10 a day. Okay? 
And what's that number for you? Write it down. That's your report card. Don't, don't finish the week without doing it. And then make sure that you are having at least three appointments a week. And those appointments could be 15, 20 minutes. But it's where you're asking the person that on the other side how things are going with them. You're trying to dig deeper into, you know, how can I help them? Listen, when you help others, they're going to feel compelled to reciprocate. And that's not why we do it. We do it because we are women of heart and we do want to help. But I want you to think about that report card. All the other stuff is fluff. All the other stuff is fluff. All the other stuff is fluff. How many conversations? How many appointments? All right, you can do this, ladies. Have an amazing week.